Welcome to DB4 Studio for SQL Server Tutorials. In the part 2, we'll continue to develop our demo case. I remind you that we are updating the underlying database of the sales management system. For the detailed description, please refer to the part 1 of the tutorial. In this demo, I'll show you how to modify existing database objects that are tightly connected with each other. So, let's begin. After creating the discount table, I want to connect my products with discounts. Thus, I need to add a column to the product table so that I can connect the tables with a foreign key. I'll add discount ID column and I want it after this price column. I hit script changes instead of database to show you some tricky stuff here. You see it's a long script. And actually, we are creating the table anew here because normally you can't alter the table and insert a column in the middle. Notice that we preserve the data in a temporary table here. And now I try to execute the script to see what happens. As you can see, the script fails because of enforced dependencies from other objects. Now I'll search for these objects. I want to find objects that reference product table. Let's see what we've got. Here is the product table itself. We'll skip it. There it is. The first dependency is a foreign key. Let's drop it. And here is the second dependency. It's a schema bound view. Let's delete schema binding property. And also we need to drop clustered index that depends on this property. Okay, that's fine. Now we can save the product table. You can see that the table data is alright and here is a new column. Now we can join product and discount table with the foreign key. Okay. Now I need to revert the changes I made to remove the dependencies. That's when the snapshot I made in the previous demo will help me. I start new schema comparison, pick the snapshot as a source and the database as a target and compare them. Now we see that four changes were made to the database and we need to revert two of them. So I select objects I want to revert and click Synchronize. Execute the script directly. I will do the backup. Synchronize. OK. Now I refresh the comparison and only required changes are left. That's it for part 2. In the part 3 of the tutorial we'll create a storage function with some business logic and debug it. Thank you for watching.